Welcome, friends. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Jennifer Cole, and I'm the director of the Metro Nashville Arts Commission. And I want to welcome you here to this fantastic um, parks complex, uh, McCabe Community Center and Park and Greenway. Uh, I want to thank uh, so many of you for being here, for um, parks commissioners, uh, our, our arts commission, uh, many of neighborhood residents, friends, artists, uh, for being here to join us today. Um, and this is, a, this is a labor of love. This is our second um, major installation of public art at the neighborhood context. Um, we are thrilled um, to have as many wonderful partners um, in this project as possible and um, thrilled to have artist Michael Dillon here and his family and friends. The goal of the public art program is um, to provide creative placemaking throughout the city. Public art at its core is a collaboration between community, artist, and city. And I'd like to thank, um, uh, take a moment to thank those of you specifically who have worked on this project for more than a year to make it a reality. First, Michael and his family um, for creating this beautiful and iconic work um, that will be known throughout this neighborhood, throughout the city, and throughout the region as a fine, amazing piece of blacksmithery. Um, first, I'd like to thank the Parks Department and the Parks Board of Directors, in particular Director Tommy Lynch, Tim Nash, and Sally Davis, who have been integral to making this project at this site, um, this beautiful, um, this on time, um, and this wonderful. Uh, I'd like to thank Hawkins Partners and all their subcontractors um, who worked diligently with Michael to create the, the plaza that the piece sits in, which really does um, provide, provide a hinge connecting the community center, the greenway and the park and the driving range. Um, I think without that um, coordinating design, um, this, this wouldn't be as much of a center point um, as we intended it to be and as Michael wanted it to be. Uh, I'd like to thank Hastings Architecture and all the folks who worked on the Community Center building. Um, we began working on this when this was in sketch phase um, and the, the, the idea that the artwork can really be an anchor for creating a place and creating a gathering place for a, a neighborhood and a community is very intentional and does not happen without many, many, many partners, including Hastings and all of their subcontractors. Um, I'd like to thank, this is actually the first, one of the first projects where we've um, integrated a public art curriculum, which I'll talk about in a second. So I would like very much to thank Metro 3, um, Carol Crittenden from Metro Public Schools, um, and Sylvan Park Elementary School, um, who've been vital in helping turn this artwork not just into something to lovely to look at and interact with, but something to learn from. Aileron, and I've had a million questions about how you say this, it's aileron, um, is the term uh, that refers to the fixed wing of a biplane that controls banking. Um, and this word harkens from McCabe's roots as one of Nashville's first airfields. Um, years and years ago, this was a stopping point for biplanes in the, in the very first initiations of flight here in Nashville. Um, the wings move naturally in the air and the forged bronze pattern um, of rivets evokes airplane construction. Michael's traditional blacksmith joinery techniques are similar to those um, used also in the manufacturing of railroad equipment, which was also something historically done in this neighborhood and pays homage to um, the neighborhood specifically. The two bronze wings reflect the traditional materials used by the arts and crafts movement, which you can see in the architecture, both in the commercial and the residential buildings that surround this wonderful park. Aileron underscores our belief that public art works within a specific environment, telling a unique story of its setting. This work, we hope, will be a gathering point, a meeting place, a place where you text somebody, meet me at the Aileron, if you can spell it in autocorrect. Um, at a place that really becomes a vision of a neighborhood identity in Sylvan Park, Sylvan Heights, and Richland. Metro Arts also believes deeply that the public art collection that we are building and growing here in the community with the community support and help can be a tool for education. This piece belongs to citizens, belongs to you. Um, and the more we can do to explain and help under folks understand the context of the work, the better off we all will be to embrace and love the public collection. Michael has willingly partnered with Metro Arts and Metro, Metro 3 to help produce a classroom guide that is written to K-5 um, classroom standards. 
um, that will include video segments from him forging in his forge in Georgia, um, him interacting and interviewing students, fourth graders from Sylvan Park who are here as he did his installation, and that includes classroom activities that any homeschool instructor, private school educator, or classroom teacher, or parent can use with their children to help them better understand this fantastic work of kinetic art. Uh, to speak more about uh, this work, I would like to um, introduce renowned artist and blacksmith, Michael Dillon. Thank you, uh, Jen. I appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to say what a pleasure it's been to collaborate with Nashville Arts Commission and the community on this project. I appreciate the support and the commitment that you all have shown for this project. As Jen said, the vision for this project was really to translate the special history of McKay Park into a sculptural form. It is gratifying to me to see Elron complete and installed in this beautiful site. A uh, special thanks to Gary with Landscape Architect and Tim with Parks, Carrie Logan and Jennifer Cole uh, with Nashville Arts Commission, Metro 3, uh, also my family, uh, and um, Kyle uh, helped me build it, um, Tom for s supporting me as well, special friends and family. And I hope you agree this monumental sculpture is uh, placed right on the landscape and reflects the neighborhood. It's a monumental moment in my life. Thank you. to um, give uh, Michael this book about Sylvan Park history. Um, anybody who, who forges and fabricates at this scale literally lives with their work. It means their family lives with their work um, day in and day out. And um, I can't say enough about um, the high quality of Michael's skill and talent. He's, he's probably one of a handful of blacksmiths in the country who have the level of skill he does. And the, the fact that we now have one of his works at this scale in our collection is quite amazing. Um, and so that hopefully book will remind you of the history and the people and friends you met here. And um, we just really thank you very much, Michael. Um, I don't think we have a better champion for the arts or for public art than we have in Mayor Carl Dean. He has consistently, with his leadership, his vision, and his participation in the arts in all their forms, um, shown up and been a real champion for, for arts and public art. And at this time, I would really love to uh, welcome to the podium um, Mayor Carl Dean to dedicate Aileron. Well, thank you, Jen. and. Um Thank you, Councilman Holloman, for being with us today. And Michael, welcome to Nashville, and thank you for this wonderful addition to McCabe Park. You know, public art is an important component of a city's livability. It provides a sense of place and contributes to the character of a community. And as we dedicate this new community centerpiece, I want to take a moment to recognize the beauty and the livability of this particular neighborhood. McCabe is home to a beautiful golf course, a highly popular greenway, and a new community center that opened its doors last fall. I know it took a lot of long hours uh, to create this, this beautiful piece of art, and uh, Michael can tell you how heavy this thing is up here on top, um, but it, it looks beautiful, and if you watch for the wind, it, it will move, and it's uh, just a great addition to our community. I'm certain that Nashvillians and visitors will enjoy it for many, many years to come as they walk, golf, bike, and play in this beautiful park. I want to say thanks again to Michael. Thank you again to the Arts Commission for all your hard work and for your dedication to public art. It is definitely making a difference to our city. And I want to thank all of you for being here who are uh, celebrating public art in Nashville. And now let me give the last word to Councilman Holloman, who has arrived and can talk about the importance of this to the neighborhood. Thank you all so much for being here today. It is a very exciting day for McCabe Park and the Sylvan Park neighborhood to stand here and see the new community center, the refurbished baseball fields, the new connection to the Greenway, all come together and to be capped off by this wonderful piece of public art, um, the first piece of community public art, 
And I think that in and of itself is a real message for our neighborhoods that we are bringing public art out into our communities. And I just want to say thank you to all those that participated from the mayor's office to the, to the arts commission. I see commissioners here. And to those of you that were on the selection committee, some business owners, some from the community that picked this very special piece of art. For me, as someone who has a great grandfather who was a blacksmith, I can appreciate this lost art and to see how it connects us to the, the history of the airport that was the first municipal airport here in Nashville, I think is something that will be longstanding and iconic for this neighborhood. So thank you all for being here and, and celebrating this rare opportunity to make our neighborhood an even more special place. Thank you.